Okay, universe. So I think it's safe to say that if uh, they came out with this trailer first, a lot more people would be a little more a, pre a little more uh, excited about the Hellboy movie rather than the first trailer, which I like the first trailer, but I can see why it turned off a lot of people. Uh, the th reason why I liked the first trailer was because, well, it understood uh, what the Hellboy comics were, and yeah. So I was like, okay, yeah, that you know, this this is pretty much Hellboy. But this mo this trailer right here really strikes home of what the movie is about. And again, and I've seen a lot of people a little more like, okay, this is good. Like they they were like, yeah, if they came off this trailer first, this would have been fine. So I'm gonna be talking about the Hellboy Red Band trailer, and it's a good trailer, and it makes me excited for this movie. And I just suddenly realized my stupid ass has just made the realization that uh, we are getting three comic book movies in one month. We've got, and from three different companies, you know, from three different groups. We've got D a DC film, we've got a Dark Horse film, and we've got a Marvel film. So, yeah, I, that, I came to that realization the other day. I was like, wow, three comic book movies. We rarely get three comic book movies in a single month because they don't want to compete with one another. But here they are, Hellboy, Shazam... Um, yeah, Hellboy, Shazam, and Avengers all in one month. Holy crap, I just realized that. <laughs> anyway, so I was uh, very much, uh, I'm very much open to this movie. I know it's a remake and a reboot of the franchise, I'm well aware of that, and Guillermo del Toro movies are great, but I've been, uh, I've been okay with this, with this franchise, uh, for this rebooted franchise since the get-go. It's more in line with the comics, um, Dave Harbour is a great actor, although I would have liked to have had, uh, you know, you can't top Ron Perlman's performance, but, you know, he said he wasn't going to do prosthetics again, so, you know, sad for that, but Harbour, I think, is a really good, Dave Harbour is a really good, uh, a replacement, and we're getting more characters from the comics, which I think is really cool. Now, just because it's close to the comics doesn't always mean it's going to be good, but I do enjoy that we are getting a lot more into the BPRD stuff, and maybe if this film does well, maybe we can get a BPRD, like, uh, follow-up? Like, maybe a, B a BPRD spin-off? That would be really cool, of having, um, like, maybe we could have a film focused on Lobster Johnson, or maybe, you know, have Abe, because Abe is nowhere to be found here. Abe Sapien is nowhere to be found in this, fran in this film. So maybe they're saving him for a sequel, or maybe a BPRD spinoff, since he plays a bigger role in the BPRD comics than he does in the Hellboy comics. I know he's like Hellboy's uh, ally, but um, he's more like he works more closely with them than he does with Hellboy most of the time. So that's that's cool, um, and I can understand they want to make this a little different from the original, you know, from the you know the other film you know, from the other two films, and they're, you know, they obviously know that they're fighting an uphill battle against, you know, because it's Del Toro, you know, you can't really top that. So, what I liked about this trailer is that this really showcases the more darker aspects, the more cult, you know, the more horror uh, route, it really does play with that, uh, that kind of feel. We do see more gore in here, um... I do like that, you know, this film isn't afraid to pull punches, and it's still, like, this film really does get Hellboy's sense of humor. Like, it, a lot of people seem to forget that Hel the Hellboy comics and the character of Hellboy himself is very much like, you know, there's a tongue-in-cheek to the darkness to it. There's, like, a funness to it, and Hellboy himself is like, whenever he sees a situation, he's like, he's not like, oh, you know, I'll take care of this, this is spooky. It's more like, oh, that's fucked up. So, that's kind of what, it, I feel like they really nailed down the, uh, hel the character of Hellboy himself and the themes of Hellboy really well. I feel like they, they nailed that and they really drive it home here because, again, if you, don't, if you think Hellboy is just a little too funny in these, tra in these trailers, then congratulations, you don't know the character of Hellboy. That's, that's re you know, that's nice. You don't get the character, then congratulations, you do not get the character. Um... So yeah, that is the you know the bit you know the big thing right there that I'm really enjoying. Uh, it is following a lot of the Wild Hunt storyline, 
and which is fine. I really like the Wild Hunt storyline, and I'm really uh, looking forward to see where they could go with this. You don't. It, they're probably saving Rasputin for another film, as well as you know the other demon stuff. If this franchise continues, I'd really like to play with story arcs like Right Hand of Doom. Uh, I'd really like to see them play because we do see Baba Yaga in here, or at least her house. So obviously she's going to play a role in this film, or at least in an opening scene or of some sort. I would like to see them tackle, um, like I said, the Right Hand of Doom storyline. I would like to see them tackle, even Hellboy in Hell would be cool. I'd really like to see the uh, Hellboy in Hell storyline done uh, done in here. That would be actually really cool if they did Hellboy in Hell as a film. That would be, I think, would be really freaking cool to see. Um, so yeah, I am very much looking forward to this. I'm really digging the cast. I'm digging the action in here. And again, I feel like if they came out with this trailer first, uh, even though it's a Red Band trailer, I feel like a lot more people would be open to this, um, would be open to this rebooted franchise than they did the first trailer. Because like I said, I liked the first trailer, but I can understand why people didn't like it. I can totally, I can totally see why people didn't like that first trailer and why it turned off a lot of people. This one really, like, brought back up to several people. Like, I was looking in the comments, I was like, wow, this really brought back a lot of people in here. This really brought back a lot of people from going, you know, F this movie. But yeah, Hellboy has got some serious, serious competition that, you know, in April. It's got to compete with the big two, you know. As always, you know, Dark Horse is competing with the big two. And one of them used to be friend. They used to be friends with, you know, being DC. So I can only imagine how that's going to play out of having, um, of having this kind of fran of having that franchise, you know, uh, competing with them. So, but that's always been the story, hasn't it? Of Dark Horse, you know, one of the biggest indie companies uh, fighting against the big two. So this is kind of it's almost metaphorical in a way, isn't it? It almost feels like almost like a metaphor for you know the independent company, the independent companies fighting the big two. Um, so anyway, so you guys tell me in the comments below. Um, what did you guys think of the Hellboy Red Band trailer? Did you guys like it? Did you guys hate it? Did it bring you back from the first trailer? Because I know from the previous when we talked about the free previous trailer. Uh, when I talked about it here on Comic Universe, a lot of you guys were kind of turned off by it. But uh, but did this trailer bring bring it back for you? Just comment below, let us know. And if you're new here, remember to Hulk smash that subscribe button and be a part of Earth's My Subscribers. Want to remind everyone that we do have a contest going on right now uh, of how you can get a variant co a variant cover comic of Batman number one thousand and the possibility of getting a Batman Who Laughs Pop. Batman Who Laughs Pop. Yeah, totally butchered that line. You guys can check out that video in the previous one. And we will see you right here once more in the universe.